Howdy. My name is Nonat, and today I have something really special for y'all. We have partnered with the fine folks down at Eldritch Foundry to come show off their new and improved UI for y'all here on the channel. If you're not familiar with Eldritch Foundry, they are an online mini maker website. Using their expansive character creator, you can make pretty much anything you would ever need as a mini and get that custom made and sent to you to use in your tabletop role-playing games. All right, now that the formal part of the video is over, I can just kind of be regular and like legitimately, I love this character creator. There's some other websites out there, but the sleek design and options available here on Eldritch Foundry, I'm just a huge fan of. So today we're just gonna mess around, make a mini, and I'm going to order it to be sent here and unboxed in a future video. So that's exciting. Also stick around, if you like minis, you might be able to get a mini. I'm not spoiling anything, I'm just saying, if you stick around, there might be a mini in your future. So if you were in the Lost Omens Ancestry Guide stream a few days ago, you might remember a certain Dompier. Hey, my name's Trevor. Having a party at my house, my parents are out of town. You wanna come listen to 30 Seconds to Mars? That's right, today we're making Trevor. Trevor is a human Dompier, and I should actually pull up a picture of him so I know what we're doing. There we go, I've got our boy Trevor pulled up. He'll probably be on screen somewhere. Uh, so let's get started. He is tall and thin. Actually, I don't think he's a human. I think he might be an elf looking at him now. So we definitely want to go ahead and go with something pointy-eared. I'm pretty sure that's an elf. So let's find the elf male. Yeah, oh, that's way better. Awesome, all right. All right, head size. Trevor's actually got a pretty small head. Not like ridiculously small, but decent. I'm literally just going from the picture because I just want to make Trevor. Uh, he doesn't have much of a belly. His waist is pretty actually refined and low and like kind of sucked in. Uh, we can't see Trevor's butt, but I don't think he has that much of a badonk donk going on in the trunk. His legs can get a little bit of mass. They're going to be covered in pants later. Uh, he does not have a tail. He does not have wings. So we're done with the overall body. Let's jump into the head specifically. I'm actually going to start with the hair. So I think that's super important. He has sort of a uh, a drop over the eye with some uh, some pins in a bun. Let's see what they've got here. They do have a bun we can work with, so we already have that. Eyebrows, he has incredibly thin eyebrows, so those will do, I think. Actually, it kind of looks better without them completely. I feel like Trevor shaved his eyebrows off and probably draws them on in the morning. That's a bit better for the ears, yeah. A little bit less pronounced. They're there, they're clearly pointed, but they're not, like, sticking out like goblin ears. That's Trevor. Trevor's definitely a half-elf, but he doesn't brag about it, and he has absolutely no facial hair. Now, what's awesome is they have full-on control of the face and everything about the head. Uh, now, Trevor is not a happy person. He's actually very mild, so I think that's perfect. I don't think we want- we don't want him happy. <laughs> that's terrifying. You just look in the corner of your room and you see this staring at you. Eyebrows. Oh, perfect. Actually, here's what we want to do. We want to make, we want to go, we want to go more angry, but then we want to tilt the eyebrows back up. Oh God, no, we want that. We want those linked. Uh, link. So we pull that down. There we go. Oh, the nice and sad puppy dog eyes. If we do, if we raise it a little bit and then re-rotate it. Yeah. Eyebrow pu Oh God. Oh no. Uh, reset. Reset. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Um, a little bit of brow just to give him that sad puppy dog. There we go. Oh, there's our sad boy Trevor. Nice, nice. Okay, we have we have Trevor's face, but Trevor is not Trevor without his garb. So let's get into some clothing, which is a very temple monastic garb. Uh, it's very loose. Both the jacket and the pants are very, very loose on him. But I don't like to deal with outfits. Let's just start with the neck. All right, so this is the closest we're going to get. He does have the rosary, but that's not a deal breaker. I think it's fine. It works. It's just my artistic interpretation of Trevor, okay? God. You just don't understand. It's not a phase. This is who I am. Or whatever. Oh, uh, we need some cloth arm wraps. And actually, looking a bit closer, he only has a wrap on one arm. They don't have the, the drape on the half, as that would be really hard to do for a mini. But they do have this, and we can throw the that on that arm, and I think that works. I actually like the other arm being open. Let's move on to the pants. We are looking for some baggy pants. The baggiest you got, Foundry. Not a bad start. I'm not a big fan, at least for this character, of having the patch on there. But if we have to deal with it, uh, 
There we go. Hold up, let's see if we can work with that with some boots. All right, yeah, this is gonna be our best option. The nice little foot wraps come up to the baggy pants, and we've got a decent representation of Trevor here. He doesn't have any eyewear, so there's nothing we're gonna do there, even though I'm sure he would like to blind himself if possible. But let's move on to what we got in our hands. He's carrying a bow staff, or like a spear, actually. It's a sort of a crescent glaive. Oh, it doesn't apply to Trevor, but I just wanted to show it off because it's really cool. Uh, so Eldritch Foundry offers something called a dynamic weapon, which is an actual mobile chain on your mini. It's so awkward and hard to print that it's not even available as a public STL file because it wouldn't work with most normal printers. The way they do it specifically makes it work. So if you want your mini to have a flail that actually wiggles around, you can do that with Eldritch Foundry. Really freaking cool. Yeah, let's go with that. It's it's almost perfect. It's just, you know, if you turn the thing slightly 90 degrees on the blade, you have the same spear. <laughs> on this other hand, we do have a magic focus. Let's see, do they have a bell here? So they don't have a bell for the offhand, but they do have this kind of cool looking crystal, which I think would work as a divine focus, especially for Trevor, because, you know, it's... It's edgy. Dark. Like my... Sorry. Like my soul. We can throw his little potion on the side of his belt, which he's got going on there. And I like the idea of this little component pouch on the other side. You know, I love a component pouch. I don't actually track components in my games, but the idea that spellcasters still use, you know, a sprig of parsley to ignite their fireball or whatever uh, is still really cool to me. And I've always loved that aspect of spellcasting. All right, now let's get to some nitty gritty detail here. You can completely customize the pose of your character and everything they have to perfectly suit what you're going for. So starting with the head, obviously we want him looking down a bit. So if we want to bend these, d there we go. Oh, there's our sad little Trevor boy. <laughs> And bam, I skipped over most of that just so you didn't have to watch me finagling with little levers, but bam, we've completely altered the arms and the items that they're holding to pretty much perfectly imitate the way that Trevor is holding the staff and the glaive and the, the bell to mimic it with the spear and the crystal. And I am, I love this kind of customization, just being able to, the minor tweaks, you know, if you think your weapon isn't quite aiming the right way, you can just play with it enough completely rotate the weapon so that it's facing exactly how you want it to. The customization is great, guys. We can grab a nice little base, which I'm gonna go with just this nice little wooden base, because let's be honest, Trevor talks a big game about how dark and brooding his soul is, but he spends most of his time in his mom's basement playing Xbox. We'll even give him a little skull at the bottom just to show how dark and edgy Trevor really is. We add in a name, and down here you can select whether you want to buy your mini as the actual resin miniature, one inch tall, uh, or the STL file for you to 3D print yourself. And once you select the right thing, you just add it right to your cart. We go to checkout, fill in your address, which I'm not going to show you. And then, so long as all of this has been blurred out correctly by me as an editor, you just hit confirm and pay, and you're done. And if this has enticed you enough, well hey, you can get your hands on some of these minis right now. First off, if you want, you can follow the link right in the description and pinned in the top comment. It's a special link which will take you there courtesy of the Nonat Ones channel. And if you buy a mini after clicking that link, you will get 15% off your order, as well as a little kickback to help support the channel for every mini you buy. On top of that, let's say you really don't want to spend a cent? Well, I've got you. Right now, over on Twitter, there is a giveaway, live, for one free mini from Eldritch Foundry. All you have to do is follow the link in the description to my Twitter and complete all of the steps listed there, as many or as little as you like, because the more steps you complete, the more entries into the giveaway you get. There will only be one winner, so you better try to, you know, get your hat in that ring as many times as you can. So shout out to Eldritch Foundry for sponsoring this video, for making such an amazing mini creator, and I'm excited to unbox it when it comes out in the future and arrives at my doorstep. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Be sure to check out Eldritch Foundry. Be sure to enter into the giveaway on Twitter. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, no nat ones.